بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm nafiyah, wa rizqan tayyibah, wa amalan mutaqabbilin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins, and bless us with ikhlas wa thabat ala sunnah al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Meaning, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with sincerity to him, and bless us with firmness upon the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because in this time that we live in there are so many distractions distractions from doing good distractions from seeking knowledge distractions from coming closer to Allah things that cause doubt and spread shuk how many people have we seen who have left Islam who were once imams once students of knowledge this one used to attack Ahlul Sunnah and what was their end result is that they left Islam so none of us is guaranteed anything. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that in the Ahadakum Liyamalu Bi Amala Ahl al Jannah Hatta Ma Yukun Bainahu Bainahu Bainaha Dhara'um Fa Yuspiku Alayhi al Kitab Fa Liyamal Bi Amala Ahl al Nar Fa Yulkula Fiha. That one of you will be at arm span length from paradise. Then what was written will overtake him. He will do the deeds of the hellfire and enter it. And this is the statement of the Prophet. So it shows us that we should be fearful on how we, what our end uh end result is in this life, how we end in this life. We want to live this life on goodness and die upon goodness. So never think that like those people who claim that they're saved and they're this and they're that. We don't know. We don't know our ending. So we should strive to always be upon righteousness and goodness. And as we've mentioned on many, many occasions, one of the most beneficial things that we could be doing to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to elevate our knowledge, to elevate our understanding of who Allah is and how to worship Him subhanahu wa ta'ala properly. Because in fact, that is what is going to help us solve all of our questions and help us solve all of our dilemmas and help us solve all of our problems. Why? Because through knowledge, we can defeat extremism. Through knowledge, we can defeat doubt, doubt in one's faith. And through knowledge, we can uh, defeat all of those things, uh, defeat sinfulness. Meaning the more knowledge you have and the more you act upon that knowledge, the more that it's going to be uh, put a barrier between you and sin. So seeking knowledge is the way forward. Seeking knowledge will help us strengthen our Iman so we'll be able to do the higher forms of struggle in order to protect ourselves and protect our communities and protect our brothers and sisters as we see the disaster and folda and chaos that is happening to our brothers and sisters in Syria at the moment. What we see Hizb al-Shaitan, the Lebanese Shia who are attacking Ahl sunnah and attacking the Sunnis and Go, working together with those oppressive people who are killing and slaughtering the Muslims. How do we deal with this? We deal with this at right now in our time of weakness through knowledge, through benefiting ourselves and strengthening our Iman, coming closer to Allah so that Allah will help us and help us in our situation. So through knowledge we'll have success. And it's only through beneficial knowledge, as we said on countless occasions, al manafi al manafi that is going to, uh, al manafi as the ulama described, and defined as beneficial knowledge, meaning knowledge of Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, with the understanding and methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And a beautiful, beautiful statement of the great Imam, Qul Nasr Sunnah, the Imam who supported and aided and revived the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Imam Shafi'i, rahimahullah taala. This is a beautiful piece of poetry that Imam Shafi'i said, and we'll just read this uh, line to show us the importance of Al Nafi' and what al manafi is, what is beneficial knowledge. Qala Imam Shafi'i, rahimahullah ta'ala, 
كل علوم سوى القرآن مشتغلة إلا الحديث وإلا الفقه في ديني العلم ما كان فيه قال حدثنا وما سوى ذاك وسواس الشياطين so Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala said all knowledge all alum all the different sciences uh, except for the Quran is something mushtagilun something that will keep you busy and perhaps it can busy you so busy yourself busy you with issues of this worldly life things that may be of importance to you but may not be of importance to you could be benef- beneficial in the sense that it, it is for example the knowledge of being a doctor the knowledge of being uh, an engineer um, a computer engineer whatever what what have you or being a carpenter something that builds and helps support the community this is beneficial but this is not the ilm al this is not the the true knowledge which is the true and most beneficial knowledge which the ulama refer to when they say ilm al is the knowledge of the sharia the knowledge of the quran and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam so imam shafi he said every alum or science other than the Quran will keep uh, will keep you busy except for hadith and except for fiqh fi deen meaning understanding the fiqh and the the understanding of the religion and the jurisprudence of the religion and then he said al ilm ma kana fihi qala hadathana he said knowledge is when they say uh, meaning the narrators of hadith when they say and uh, it was narrated to me and other than that is the waswas or the whispers of the shaitan so again this affirms for us how the salaf of this ummah how they held Al-Manafi' being very important, being knowledge of Islam, knowledge of the Quran, knowledge of the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the highest form of knowledge. This is the knowledge that will take you to Jannah. This is the knowledge that will help you uh, stay away from the hellfire. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept this good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabi Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.